This is your daily dose of internet. This is called a persistent train, and it's a rare occurrence when a meteor leaves a trail behind. This isn't actually smoke, but a result of the meteor ionizing the air. The meteor is moving so fast that it actually strips away electrons from molecules in the air. This astronomer found a persistent train that formed in the shape of a ring. Cool science. There's a restaurant in Japan that sends you noodles through a series of bamboo tubes. You're not supposed to take all the noodles, so people further down the line can have some too. Good afternoon, everyone. This is called a red-throated loon, and it's a type of bird that likes to dive for food. They have the ability to dive to a depth of 30 feet and hold their breath for 90 seconds. Wow. What the fuck? Just become a fish, dude. Like, what the fuck? There's a sport from Norway that's pretty much a belly flop championship. The objective is to have the most painful dive possible into the water. A few days ago, Japan experienced their most powerful typhoon in over 25 years. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is what it looks like when two octopuses fight. Oh shit. It got to the point that it looked like a giant octopus burrito. Maybe they're making love. That's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Later. Later, babe. Oh my god, look how much more content we have. Hello, everyone. We have one, two, three, f one, two, three, four, five videos of content. Let's go, boys. This is your daily dose of internet. This is a golden-tailed gecko. What you're looking at is extremely oh. rare footage of their defense mechanism used to scare away predators. When the geckos feel threatened, they shoot a sticky substance out of their tail. Ooh. This web is they also like extremely foul-smelling and will make this gecko smell really, really bad. Unfortunately, this type of gecko is currently suffering from habitat loss in Australia. This truck was being repossessed when the owner jumped in and tried to drive away. This is Kate Kona as fuck right here. Bájate, bro! Bájate, loco! This artist created a Holy 3D printer fuck. using the power and heat from the sun to make objects from sand. Okay, this guy's got too much time in his hands. That's fucking amazing. Oh shit, he's making glass.
What the fuck? That's amazing. <gasps> uh oh. This is a marine iguana, only found in the Galapagos Islands. They're the only type of iguana in the world that can swim and dive for food. Many of these iguanas can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes long. That's so cool. He's just chilling underwater. So, hey, Kerr, I'm a fish now, Kerr. Hey, give me food. Hey, I want to be a fish if I want to be a fish, man. When racehorses are about two Whoa. years old, they begin hard training to become the best. What Since the, the horses are so young, their body is not ready to handle this type of training. This is a monorail that runs with the horses and protects them if they trip or fall. So just... This is the Ames window, which is an optical illusion that was created in 1951. It's a two-dimensional object that appears to be transparent. When you place objects on this window, it appears that the objects are passing straight through. So the window appears to pause and go backwards, but the matchbox keeps coming and floats out past this engine ah, edge of the window. Not like this. You can see that. You can even see the pin. Ah, not like this. Watch what happens here. The ruler's coming, window pauses, window goes backwards, and somehow or other, they go through each other, even though you know they can't do it. That's in this video. Hopefully you learned something new, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. These firefighters in Canada had their hose sucked in by a fire tornado. Oh my god, that, that hose could kill you if it flicks back. This is really dangerous. Oh my god. Why is she laughing? There's a special type of plant that you can blow bubbles from. <laughs> Discovered in the sand, but nobody knew where they came from. This is the Japanese pufferfish, and they like to draw intricate designs in the sand to attract a mate. These fish are pretty much showing off their artistic abilities oh. to attract the ladies. That's so cute. In 2017, over 1,000 rhinos were killed so their horns could be harvested and sold on the black market. Many wildlife conservations are dehorning rhinos to save them from being killed. Once a rhino has been spotted, the team uses a tranquilizer to calm the rhino down. Their eyes are covered and earplugs are placed for protection from noise and dust. A chainsaw is then used to remove the horn. Removing a horn is similar to trimming your fingernails. The rhino does not feel any pain. telling you like no offense if you're chinese no offense okay but some like the people in china who think fucking rhino horn and tiger's blood is gonna fucking make you live longer you're dumb as fuck dude you are stupid it's t i'm telling you it's rich chinese people who want the fucking horns for their special medicines or it's the voodoo doctors in some other countries that want it they come there they got lots of money they don't give a fuck about animal life they're greedy they want everything from themselves they believe it makes them live longer do you want to know what will make them live live longer getting out of china because the smoke there is terrible if you go to china you will get lung cancer in a week i'm telling you mate it's bad in certain parts of china Hello everyone, this is your Daily Dose of Internet. This company developed a speed bump filled with non-Newtonian fluid. If a car is moving at the appropriate speed limit, the car will travel right over it without very much disturbance. If a car is traveling too fast, the liquid hardens and becomes an obstacle. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like this was a very good idea because the company is now out of business. Change from soft to a solid state according to the vehicle's speed. Oh. Save it. Oh. No. <laughs> no. This is
This is what it looks like when you place liquid nitrogen in a gasoline. The nitrogen moves around, kind of like a screensaver. Whoa, what the fuck? That's so cool. Wee. Wee hee. Oh, and it's gone. This is a gulper eel, and they can make themselves look like really big balloons to scare away predators. Wow. Wow. We really ticked them off. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, 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 what? Oh, this is like the gill archer? I have the gill. Some kind of. What? Whoa. Is it? Wow. it just got so big. Incredible. Uh, wow. Yep, he's doing the shake. Oh, that's a oh, 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 my God. <laughs> Is that a gulper eel then? Wow. Yes. I think so, yeah. That is crazy. That, that was, was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? These are juvenile African pampano fish, and they have really long fin filaments. As they get older, these long threads get smaller and smaller. Aww. That's nice. What the hell? I want one. That'd be a great pet. This is what it looks like to paint using virtual reality. It allows you to paint in a three-dimensional space. She's terrible at painting now. Is that good? Oh, maybe she's a good painter. Ooh, that blue water. What the fuck? Why is the water so blue? Wow. Oh, boys. Oh, that's a good frog. Look at the cockles on that frog. Yeah. That's a good frog. Give me an OS frog in the chat, boys. Fancy in his video. Oh, look how happy he is. Next one. Hello, everyone. This is your daily dose of internet. Underwater? Yeah. Oh, Whoa. fuck. What? He just threw an octopus at the dude. This rhino ran right up to this photographer and demanded belly rubs. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is he going fast? This is called the double wrench method, which is a super simple way to break open a lock. And then the second one at a 90 degree angle. So let's see what happens when we try this. Ooh, okay, easy. My bike looks now. like we gimme, gimme. broke something, but it's not completely open. Let's try that one more time. Ooh. There we go. Whoa. Sometime in the first century, a nomadic tribe in Saudi Arabia carved this tomb from a giant rock. There's over one. 100 other similar tombs scattered throughout the desert. These tombs were built for the wealthiest and most important members of their society. What the fuck? I want a tomb. I want a fucking tomb. This is how a sea cucumber eats. They walk on the floor and throw sand in their mouth and digest whatever organic matter they can find. And what we see the, uh, the holotherian doing here again is, is consuming sediment. They are able to eviscerate the, their guts, uh, for example, and, and that will then stick to the predator and confuse them. What? 
It's waking everyone. Here we have some brioche dough, which goes into a bun divider. Push this down, divide it. And now we're going to round it for a few seconds. What the and voila, fuck? you have equal 36 pieces. That was so easy. This company made a device that allows you to create and animate your own holograms. <laughs> <laughs> and you look at it and you interact with it. There's no clunky headgear. There's no extended setup. That's in this video. I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys again very, very oh, soon. If I was an editor, if I was an editor, I would fucking put a genome meme and try to get destiny with this. This company made a device that allows you to create and animate your own holograms. Right, right here. I'll do it. Watch. Funky headgear. There's no extended setup. I'll do it right here. That's in his. Boom. That guy looks like the genome dude, and he had would he would have the genome hat, and it would be like, "Hello, me old chum." And I'd fucking get him good, but I'm not good at stuff, but, but um, I wish I was. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. There's an artist that likes to carve pillows out of marble. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, he looks so real. Wow. Oh, you're gonna drop. Okay, that was cool. This is a polarizing filter, which is used by photographers to remove reflections from surfaces such as glass and water. Filters can get rid of reflections up, from Texas? many surfaces such as water or glass oh or God. even book spines. No fucking way. There's a cat that likes to go skateboarding. The owner pushes or pulls on the board while the cat goes for a ride. That's a cool cat. That is a cool cat. That was a fucking cool cat. This is the largest and most expensive sailboat in the world. If you want to rent this yacht, it'll cost you at least $300,000 a week. Okay, it's better than everybody's house that's in this chat. If, if, if we got everybody's house, we, that's... Uh oh. These ducks were rescued after they spent their entire lives trapped inside a house. They have never seen a large body of water until now. The ducks actually refused to go in the water until volunteers started throwing them in. Oh, look how happy they are. Look at them. Oh, this is beautiful. That guy can't swim for shit, Jesus. A few days ago, there was an earthquake in Indonesia, followed up by a tsunami that flooded the shoreline. That that's not real. That looks Very like nice, a little UFO. No way is that real. That's the end of this video, but I do have some bad news. I will be gone and away from YouTube for about the next 10 or 11 days, and uh, I'll be spending some time with some family members that I almost never get to see. He's ditching. So thanks so much for understanding, and I'll be back again making videos very, very soon. He's ditching, mate. Um, okay, well that